Oh, it's early in the morning. I, <coughs> I do need glasses. That's fine. That's better. Right now, basically, I've got your whole torso in this. Do you, bag? Do you, do you, a bag and the torso oh. and the coffee. If you're happy with that, then that's um, great. I'm happy with that, yeah. Right, is this recording or...? Uh, red light on the front. You can't see it on your, you can see it on your screen, red light on the screen. Yeah, oh, that's what that red, red dot, dot is. Red dot, yeah. Right. When you uh, turn the screen round, yeah. you know, it disappears. So you have to see on the front, there's a red dot on the right in front of the camera. Right. Oh, yeah, got it. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf, welcome to the Sunday Quickie. We still need to do a name, I think we're going to do a giveaway competition and get people to select the name. Oh, the glasses are steaming up. I'm with Badger on, on camera today. We're at Hale Golf and uh, we've just filmed, oh no, don't have a proper lens cleaner, Johnny will go mad. Right, we have just filmed Badger's attempt at the dead man's bag. Dead man's bag. Not going to tell you how you got on, uh, but we're going to film a whole bunch of them and the hope is that over a week we're going to show all of them. My, my plan is to show all of them in one go and then it'll be like a dead man's bag challenge and you'll watch every day. I'm not telling the Buccaneers how they've got on either. So the only one they know about so far is that Chris Gill, PGA head professional at Newquay, did remarkably well and you can watch that video on the channel already. So, Sunday show today. Not too much to discuss. We're halfway through the Land Hydrock course vlog. Wade Badger, who's behind on the camera at the moment. Hello, Badger. And Neil Allen, who played exceptionally well on the day. He really did. Badger was there as well. And uh, we've got three more videos to show you of that. So those will be coming out this week. I think we're going to throw a favourite hole video in on Friday. Neil did his favourite hole at Cape Cornwall Club. Neil used to play there as a junior. I'm now playing there from time to time. So he's done the 18th at Cape Cornwall Club which would be really good. So you'll get four videos out this week, okay? Sorry about this, it is very early in the morning. Uh, I was at a Cornish rock concert yesterday, ba Baz. Really? Honestly, yeah, Cornish rock concert. Fisherman's Friends. Oh, oh. twas proper girt re it were. It, it was, it was proper lush, mate, honestly. Something like that. It was good, it was, it was great. Great time. Just so good to be back out and actually seeing something again for real, real live performances, yeah? We were at Penley Park Open Air Theatre. If you get a chance to go and see Penley Park Open Air Theatre any time in Penzance, well worth it. Lots of different shows, okay? So, before we carry on with the golf, and one reason why I kind of said about that, is that in the interval, Badger's laughing, in the interval, I'm sitting there thinking, there can be more to Big Oggy than just golf. We all know I do a bit of cooking on a little channel, but we can do a lot more to promote Cornwall. So I have set up a channel called Big Oggy Cornwall. You can't have Big Oggy's Cornwall because you can't put an apostrophe in a title. Mess it up. So you may not find it on the search engine yet on YouTube because it hasn't got any videos yet. So I'll put a link on the description below and on the pinned comment on here. It's called Big Oggy Cornwall. Pop over there and please subscribe. Uh, it's going to be my life that isn't golf. So it's going to be everything. It's going to be art and tourism and food and all the wonderful beaches and all the wonderful locations and fantastic places that you go to here. Cornish events, local events. And we're going to be meeting people like Badger and like Eddie and showing you other things that, are, that we do apart from golf. It's going to be a lot of fun. I definitely know it's going to be a walking football one in because Eddie's pestering me like mad to do a walking football video. So. Again, so just very, very quickly, I literally knocked it up last night, I'm trying to make a video today to maybe introduce it, but go over there and please subscribe. We need to get to a thousand subscribers very quickly on that channel for it to actually be any use. Uh, so, that's that quick plug of that, we'll plug it better later today. Dead Man's Bag is going very well. My turn, I think, next. We we'll have a little sieve on it soon, that'll be good. Well done, well done today, Badger, <laughs> very well done. They're actually, these clubs are actually quite short and they're, they're, we think they'll suit you a little steeper. Perfect, perfect size, yeah. yeah. I'm under a lot of pressure. I won't say how everyone's getting on, but I'm under a lot of pressure right now. I really am. Huh. What else? Okay, so we have some, a couple of days off this week to go and film. Unfortunately, right now, we have nowhere to film. It's quite tricky to get spaces uh, to film complete course vlogs at the moment because it's a school summer holidays. School's out. 
Uh, God, I could look like rock hot, so I can look like Alice Cooper today with the state of these eyes. No makeup Gold, required. Sunglasses. Yeah, rock. I know. No, we should get him on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be brilliant. He's a lovely golfer. Uh, so we are trying at the moment. I've contacted a whole bunch of different courses to see if we can go and do a course vlog. Neil and I am going to speak to Darren as well, see if we can find somewhere near Plymouth area, because Darren knows all the courses around there for the next couple of weeks. But we will try and get as many videos out as we can running up to the golf day. And obviously the golf day is also taking a lot of my time right now. Everyone bar one is completely all paid up. Um, the people are still on the reserve list. Obviously with COVID, we don't know if people have to drop in and out. Uh, so we will keep everyone involved and let people know if anyone needs to be made available for that. Everything has been organized for that. I will do a video about the golf day in probably next week. So we'll have about three weeks before the event and we'll tell you what's happening on the event. Prizes are all coming in very well. We have no actual sponsors for the, the actual day itself, but we've got lots of prizes from a whole number of companies. We definitely need to find some things for the goodie bags. It's quite tricky to get 72 or even 80 of everything. We're trying, going for 80 because there's a lot of helpers that are helping out or, or golfers but aren't taking part. Quite nice to give them a goodie bag as well. So if, if you know anyone that might be able to pop something in our goodie bags, that would be great. That's what we're really looking for now. Again, the charity is Prostate Cancer UK this year and it's a, it's a fantastic charity and I've needed them myself at some point and I know plenty of other people are on the channel. have been emailing me and saying what a great charity it is and they're closely linked unfortunately with their families etc and uh, they want us to support the charity which is what we're going to do so that's that lastly for now hang on oh i know lastly for now uh, second lastly for now we're actually at hell golf very quickly turn that round badger show what's happening at hell golf there it is there it is might be looking like a building site but it's not it's fantastic turn it back that's going to be the facility for the new training areas for the pros here. Um, but we're also going to be using ourselves to do some filming in as well. And maybe it might be our kind of host room for some different shows and things that we've got an idea about doing, which would be kind of cool. It's still in the process, but it's really getting there now. They've had the electrics put in. Things are happening very quickly. End of, end of August, middle of September, I think. Don't quote me on that. This is Hell Golf's wonderful short game area. We're going to make use of this a lot more as well. Yeah, we often do. Around. Well done. So, lastly for now, people have been saying about the merchandise. Oh, okay, when's the merchandise coming out? When's the merchandise coming out? You're wearing all the stuff. I did look very cool in the Land I Drop video. I <laughs> thought I looked very smart, yeah? My wife loves the white shirt. Yeah, so, yeah very, very tennis. Yeah. Well, it's been said, but it cricket, is Cricket, actually, true. someone said. I look like so, a cricket okay, umpire, especially white. with a big hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't oh, have a problem yeah, with that. definitely. I look smart. So, for me. No, you look now, great. Very dapper. Trying, to, trying to look smart. Um, <laughs> currently, the only size I've got is ones for me, so we need to take some photographs of me to go on the shop. Oh God, that's going to be bad. Uh, of the different colours, okay? But if you want to email me at bigoegolf@gmail.com, you can, and we can order some stuff already without using the shop site, okay? Shirts are twenty-five pounds with free UK delivery. Hats, the, the trucker hats like this are twenty-five pound each again with free UK delivery, okay? Uh, there will be some other things coming out as the autumn appears. We don't talk about autumn yet or... God, no. No, okay, but there'll be bob hats and snoods and all those kind of things. And they have been designed, we've just not we've got them ready yet. So, colours for the shirts are navy blue, like this one, black, burgundy and the white. And the hats are the same. Uh, raw blue, black, burgundy, white. I don't have a white hat right now, but you've seen the other ones. Uh, all with the gold lettering, all with Cornish flags on, because we are on a Cornish channel, uh, big eye crew on them, big eye crew on the... Collar. Collar, yeah. Uh, they're relaxed fit, because let's be honest, they fit me, and I think they go up to 8XL, all right? Crazy sizes. So uh, if you're interested in those, let me know, and I'll, I'll basically set it out for you. What we're doing is we're working with All Stitched Up, which is the company which Tony Mealing, who is the head pro at the Kendall Show in Bristol, Bristol runs, and... Uh, I take the orders, I send the order to him, he does all the stitching and everything and he sends it out to you. Okay? So, I said, if you're interested, very quickly, that's, that's the plan right now and we'll, they'll be on the shop side in the fullness of time. Okay, we're getting there, but the golf day takes precedence over everything for the next month and we'll do our best to do everything we can. So, I think that's it for now. 
hope you're enjoying yourselves out there. Please make sure you, hide, you use plenty of uh, water when you're on the courses drinking and, and rehydrate. Poor Eddie nearly passed out the other day playing a, a round of golf. So again, make sure you're drinking proper water. Uh, make sure you're using hats and plenty of sun cream and high factors, yeah? The skin cancer in Cornwall is one of the highest rates in the country and because a lot of people are in the outdoors out there all the time, so you know, be careful out there. So that's it for now. Thank you very much to Badger for being on camera today. Good man. Thank you very much to Ian at Hale Golf for allowing us to come and film today and uh, we'll see you all very soon. Please go and look at the other channel, Big Oggy Cornwall. It's going to be great. Honestly, it's going to be great. Bye everybody. Bye now. Bye.